Or maybe you jumped off the wild train a few expansions ago. Now is the time to come home. Now is the time to pull on your boots, pick up your broadsword or your favorite glowy staff, and get in this fight. I think Chris Metzen is the master of hype. He's confident and knows how to cater to the crowd. Every word coming out of his mouth is laced with conviction and purpose. And I'm not hating, he is fantastic, but is it really time to come home to Retail WoW? Here's some quick background. I played World of Warcraft during its initial beta and was there on day one of its release. WoW dominated my gaming thoughts and time and was epic as all hell for years. But sometime after Cataclysm, it faded away from me and I've never gone back to retail. Then, when WoW Classic was released, it beckoned me back home to Azeroth and it reminded me of the good old days. I booked a week vacation off work, I played it like crazy, and I was the first level 60 druid on my server. But I'm pretty sure I didn't even renew it to month 3. The game was solved, it was just too easy, and I love a challenge, so I moved on again. When Hardcore Classic was announced, it was like a dream from 15 years prior finally coming true. I had always wished for higher stakes to feel like my character's life mattered more than just resurrecting easily and running back to where I was. But I fought the urge. After what Blizzard had done to some of their other franchises, and how I felt like Diablo 4 was an outright scam at launch, I had a war within myself to not renew my subscription and start down that path. I know it would drive me to spend less time with my spouse, call in sick to work, it would just consume me. I was practically raised by MMORPGs, starting with Dark Age of Camelot in 2001 when I was 14 years old and then moving to World of Warcraft, MMOs literally felt like my second home. But I'm too far gone now. I'm out of the loop. I don't know why Anduin is sulking on a rock in the fucking desert talking to Thrall. I don't know why a sword the size of a city is sticking out of the ground. And after all the bullshit I've seen and heard about Retail WoW indirectly, no thanks. I'll pass. Plus they want $114 Canadian for me to get early access to their next expansion? Are you kidding me? You can try to tell me it's early, but I ain't no chump, Blizzard. I was raised on this shit. Day one starts the minute you turn on the servers. No one wants to start after everyone else, so tons of people are going to buy into it. It's just dirty exploitation of FOMO, and I don't want to support that business model at all, so Retail WoW is a no for me. Cataclysm Classic is also a no because I feel so behind now. I feel like it's already declining like OG WoW did. And when I play games, I play hard. I've just never been a fan of starting in the middle of cycles like that. My hope for this BlizzCon was the much-typed Classic Plus announcement. Something new and fresh I could dig into and be there day one for. I love those early days when everyone is fighting for resources and levels and groups. You know, uh, trade chat is booming, everyone is broke and relationships and guilds are being built. It really does feel like a living, breathing world and that is when WoW is at its best. Season of Discovery is what was announced instead of Classic Plus, but it's very, very similar. Uh, takes the base game, changes it somewhat, maybe a little bit more than I expected, but still, it checks a lot of boxes for me. The level cap slowly rises, so you don't need to spend an incredible amount of time just to stay with the lead pack. It has self-imposed limits already. It changes the formula for the classic world that I already love, but not too much. It's additive, and from what I've seen so far, it isn't too far-fetched that they can actually pull it off. I like that they're creating a raid experience that isn't at max level. I think that's really cool. I think there's so much more that they could explore and they're actually going that route. So that's that's awesome. And even having like no PTR or beta at all is a really pretty big win in my eyes. It helps keep things fresh for at least a bit. I like the mystery and the discovery and having that as the theme is a huge plus for me. I want to roam Azeroth and put the pieces of the puzzle together myself like we all did 19 years ago. Vanilla WoW was special because we all felt like regular Joes at first. We struggled to kill a bear or some raiders or something and what you did was so small scale. 
and I think it's amazing to see the world shape itself as players fall into certain categories or become notorious for certain things. I feel like Season of Discovery will keep that smaller, personal scale intact. Unlike Retail WoW that has grown to such an enormous conflict, it just seems daunting to start tackling. Bringing us all back to my original point, Chris wants us to come home, to save the universe or the world soul or something, and I know I will not be doing that. But it is possible, and dare I even say likely, that Blizzard has managed to reel me in for one more journey through Azeroth with their classic plus model. Maybe that transitions to their self-found hardcore mode coming next year. Maybe it's just a one and done monthly sub. If you plan on playing any World of Warcraft in any capacity and have some input on this, I'd love to discuss it in the comments. As always guys, I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching the video and take care everybody.